Over the past week, my Amazon cart has been full of little camera gadgets and accessories. And I just figured I would share what I'm getting because I think it would help you a lot. And it's not the typical, oh, we got a new lens. We got, no, none of that. Today, we're talking the little things that are actually gonna be really nice to have in your camera bag. I'm also gonna drop a huge tip in this video for my aspiring sports photographer. So you're gonna wanna stay till the end for that one. First item we're talking about is this new camera cage that I just got for my Canon R5. Why did I buy this small rig black mamba kit? I am not really big on huge build outs for my camera. My Canon R5 is literally just the camera. That's all I use. I'll put a microphone on if I need to. I don't even own a monitor. But the reason that I ordered this is because recently I stripped the quarter inch thread on the bottom of my camera. If you don't know what that is, this is my old camera, but it's the tripod thread right here. This stripped so I wasn't able to attach my Ronin tripod, nothing to it, so I had to send it back. I needed a solution because those are the kind of issues that could really cripple you if you're a creative. Luckily, I was headed off to Hawaii for a personal trip, so I had the ability to just send my camera out for two weeks. Kind of got lucky because there's no other two week block that I wouldn't need my R5. But what is this and what does it come with? First thing it comes with is the general cage for the R5. This right here wraps around the body. This side piece, I got a little bit nervous about at first, but you can detach it right here. The reason I got nervous about it is because it blocks the microphone jack, which just is not okay. But I think this is designed to hold an HDMI or whatever it may be in place. I won't need that since like I said, I don't use a monitor at this moment. So I'll be taking these off. And if you're like, oh, I don't have an Allen wrench to take that off, it actually comes with this little piece on the bottom where you can remove this side piece and then just have this around your camera. Another attachment it comes with is this top handle. So this will attach to the top where you can then hold in oversling mode and really just film like that. I'll probably keep this in my bag, but not keep it attached to the cage at all times. If I'm on the Ronin, I'm not going to have this on. It's just excess weight that's going to mess with the balancing. So the two things I'm excited about this is that this quarter inch thread will stay in my camera pretty much all the time. So I won't be going in and out of the camera. So if something strips, it's going to be something on the cage. So then I can just buy a whole new cage instead of sending my camera back. And also right here and right here, there are vertical mounts. So I am able to mount my camera to a tripod to my Ronin vertically and film vertical if that is what the shoot entails. The next thing we're talking about, and I'm literally opening this in real time. So this is a true unboxing. is this right here. Now, what is this? Coming up, I have a shoot that I'll be using a lot of GoPro. One, because there's a lot of water that we're filming in and that's what the client wants. So we make the best of it. Right here, this is a tripod to GoPro. Simple attachment. So if I want a locked off shot on my tripod, but on the GoPro, I can put this right on. And then what we're gonna be using with this is a vertical mount for the GoPro. So simply put, this is what it's gonna look like. This is gonna go on the mount for the tripod. So the tripod will be here. GoPro will be mounted vertically. So then everything will be shot nine by 16 since it is for social media. These are all cheap attachments, but instead of having a little shitty rig, you can buy these cheap things off Amazon, mount this to your tripod, get your GoPro on there and start filming in the correct way. As I mentioned, I'm gonna be filming in a good amount of water. And so that means we need to find a way to rig up the camera without me getting soaking wet. And in case there's movement, I got this. This is a suction cup mount. Now, if you follow anybody on social media, these have been really popular recently, but this one is designed for my Insta360 that we'll also talk about later. I don't buy a lot of gear, but recently I've been just on a killing spree. So this will be mounted for our example on maybe the side of a water slide on the front of a roller coaster and I won't really have to worry about it because this will be suctioned to whatever surface we want it to. This eliminates all the different straps that you need drilling into anything. This will stay steady, fingers crossed, and get us the shot that we need and save us a whole lot of time and then we won't have to worry about spending hours rigging up a small camera. This is by far the most expensive thing I bought in this Amazon order and this is something that I've wanted for a little bit and it also will be useful on a shoot coming up. This right here is the Insta360 
X3. Simply put, this is a 360 camera, and how I'm gonna be using this is for behind the scenes and maybe rigging it up on a shoot pretty soon. Then I can get the perspective of somebody and what they're looking at. The quality, not perfect. It looks all right if it's in the correct lighting. For example, outside, it looks awesome. But inside, you gotta worry about it. It's similar to shooting on a GoPro, shooting on a phone. You gotta worry about your elements around you because it's not gonna be the cleanest looking thing in the world. But this will be really cool to maybe rig to my camera and get some behind the scenes for you guys for the NFL content and whatever it may be. Next thing, and I don't wanna harp on this one too much, but these are ND filters for the GoPro. I'm not a huge GoPro guy, I really know it sounds like it. But a shoot coming up requires a lot of it, so we want ND filters to make that GoPro look as good as possible since we'll be filming in a lot of direct sunlight. And now before we get to the sports photographer tip, subscribe, like, it helps me, it means nothing to you, but it helps me. Now, this right here, this is a lightning to SD card reader. Yes, basic piece of gear, but what am I gonna tell you here? Well, number one, when you're working with gear like this, this is not gonna work 100% of the time. This is actually the one from Apple. I paid a little bit extra for it, but if this goes out, I have a backup. In a recent game that I was shooting, I actually was in trouble because it stopped working. So I ordered two new ones, a main one and a backup. This is a third party. It's just a few bucks. It'll work, but it won't last nearly as long as this one. But let me teach you how this works in the simplest sense. So you got your camera, you took your photos. What you're gonna do, you're gonna pop your memory card out of your camera, now you got your SD card. Put the SD card in the memory card reader, and then we're gonna plug it straight into our phone. Once we have the reader plugged into our phone, we're gonna go to our Photos app. Then on the bottom right, you'll see Import pop up. Click on Import, and then you'll see all the different content that's on the SD card. Click on whichever one you wanna import. Click Import in the top right, selected. On the top left, you'll see a little wheel start to turn, and once everything is imported, this will pop up and you'll click keep. Make sure you click keep or else it'll delete whatever it is on the card, keep, and this will allow you to send your photos immediately. So if you're on a smaller scale shooting for a high school, you can send this to your social media team. And that actually is the same kind of thing as what I'm doing for the NFL. I am taking the photos and I'm sending them to the social media team right away. There's a touchdown, I'm ripping them right on my phone and texting them, slacking them, whatever we're using immediately. So if this means sending photos to a parent immediately, use it. It will make you look good. It'll make you really feel like you know what you're doing. And then don't worry, the photos, as long as you click keep, will still be on your memory card. So then whenever you get home, you can dump them all onto your computer and you can edit them however your heart desires. You gotta sacrifice the quality without editing them. So I push you to pick a good picture profile because if you're shooting raw it doesn't matter that much you want your raw photos to look usable if you're sending them right away and a little bonus is buy an allen wrench that fits your tripods i have so many of these laying around from over time it's good for a lot of different things and the nice part is that even though all cameras use all different gear this is something that is very universal to just about every single screw that's gonna involve your camera gear. So get out there, start filming, and over time you're gonna accumulate way too much gear and have all of this stuff because after this shoot's over, I don't know what I'm really gonna use a lot of it for, so we'll see. And as always, here are a couple of my favorite photos from throughout the past week. Peace. Thank you.